Okay, this is a truck that uh, belongs to our dealership and uh, it's been completely restored over the last year and the thing that we want to do today is to um, determine the noise level of the engine as it has a new set of pistons in it and so uh, we'll get it started. As you can see, we're inside of this uh, 1973 6 year and go for a spin. It's too bad that we didn't uh, get a chance to uh, video the uh, engine before uh, we put the new pistons in it. Uh, because they weren't available at the time that uh, rebuilt the engine during the restoration project uh, we just uh, filed the black death off the old pistons and uh, we uh, owned the cylinders and put it back together and uh, I had no idea what the noise level was of a 360 engine but uh, the, but this one was was plenty noisy in uh, a lot of different areas and uh, having never ever heard another one run it, uh, when we pulled it back apart to put the new pistons in it was I, I thought to myself because the, the old pistons really weren't worn that bad. Uh, I thought if it uh, if there was some improvement on the noise level, then I'd be satisfied with that. Well, when we started the truck up, uh, it was a shock because it was just completely quiet compared to the noise level that. Uh, we had with the original pistons. So we're more than satisfied with uh, with the outcome, but I'd certainly recommend uh, the new pistons to anybody who uh, is redoing uh, their engine. And obviously, uh, we uh, because of the scoring in the cylinder walls, we we board the uh, engine and put 40,000 oversized pistons in it. The truck cruises along uh, uh, on the uh, level real nicely at 55 miles an hour. And, uh, I've, uh, I've driven it uh, about 1,100 miles since restoration. And, uh, worked out the uh, different uh, little problems it might have had and uh, it's to the point where it runs almost perfectly at this point in time. Basically, pretty 
across free. It, uh, it spent most of its life in uh, Nevada on a uh, poultry farm. And, uh, we actually got the truck from a man in uh, New Jersey who had purchased it about 10 years ago and really uh, hadn't done anything to it. He just fortunately stored it in his garage in New Jersey so it didn't, uh, didn't get the usual salt and rust problems. I don't think he uh, drove it at all, hardly. And, uh, we, uh, we found it through a friend of ours from uh, California, uh, Ronnie Bauman. It's a 1970 Subaru 360 truck. We've been, uh, our family have been uh, Subaru dealers since 1972. This is John Riley with his fully restored Subaru 360. Thanks for going for a ride. And this is John Riley with his fully restored Subaru 360. Thanks for going for a ride. How are you doing?